at the end of the day, I'm an optimist and we're gonna be okay. If you look at history, we've lived through a hell of a lot worse. Too much gum again. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing, 100 nothing. Com. I am Fuck it! And now people are looking at me weird. But you know what? I am weird. But that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. You get a double finger point today for, for you guys. Oh, this guy thought I was pointing at him. Gave him the bird. He gave me the bird with a cigarette in his hand. <laughs> Because smoking and the respiratory virus that's going around, they say smoking doesn't isn't a factor, right? So, anyways, um, if you are a smoker, um, I've never put a cigarette to my lips, um, but um, I understand um, the addictive cycle it can bring. And uh, my heart goes out to you. It's a really hard habit to break from what I've seen um, amongst my friends, colleagues, clients, family over the years. So I don't care if those bastards go up to $25 a pack. People are still going to buy them because that's the power of addiction. People throw away their whole lives for addiction. So, you know, raising the price of cigarettes a little bit has not done um, anything to that industry, I don't think, at least. Could be wrong, I haven't researched that. I didn't ask my mother, Google, for any advice. But um, anyways, you guys, um, the thing is, is, um, you know, I'm an optimist. I'm a glass half full guy. And I think that we are going to get through this and we're all gonna be okay. Um, if you look at world history, and look at the wars and look at the famines and the catastrophes and the things that you know our ancestors have survived we come from a line of survivors okay we come from the grittiest toughest survivalists or else we wouldn't be here so think about yourself that way because you are that way um and you know this virus while it's you know wreaking havoc and whatnot and overloading the medical system and things like that. Um, you know, look on the bright side. A lot of us are okay. Um, a lot of us will get it and we will um, shrug it off, you know, after a week or two, a lot of us will. And there are some that are gonna unfortunately perish because of it. But, you know, we're gonna come through it. We're gonna have medicines, we're gonna have tests, we're gonna have all the things that have gotten us over all of the things over the years, the sicknesses, ailments, where, you know, the common cold and flu, you know, a hundred years ago would kill you. And you know, today it's like, you know, some bosses go, oh, you're fine, come to work. You know, because it's just a matter of writing it out and then maybe getting, um, you know, some antibiotics or something. So, you know, we're gonna be okay with this. And, um, you know, if nothing else right now, if there's lean times right now, it's going to create um, gratitude for what you do have. You know, it's gonna make you appreciate the little things in life. It's forcing you to be indoors. And if you're with family, to appreciate your family, um, to spend more time. You know, if you don't like get to see your kids a lot because they're in school all day, they come home and either they have after school programs or they're doing homework or everyone's in a different room on their device. Well, now you're spending a lot of time with them. And yeah, there's gonna be some friction. There's always friction when you spend a lot of time with anybody because the old saying is, you know, all sunshine makes a desert. And, um, sorry, I had my air on. Um, it's actually cold outside, um, but it's windy, so I didn't want that to come through. So, um, you know, it's, it's just a really good time to connect. You know, some of the deep, lessons you know i think about growing up myself that i learned from um my family members um there was like these little nuggets or these moments where there was this you know something shared 
about either my family history or about my um, about them about you know some life lesson that they learned you know there's a lot that can you can capitalize on right now that at the end of life those are the things that are going to matter the most it's not going to be um, how much your 401k went down or you know if you were underemployed for a period of time you know as long as you're having your basic needs your essentials met right now you know you have enough toilet paper purell i say that half kidding um you know but you have your basics you know you're gonna be okay you know take care of your immune system get some exercise try to eat healthier um you know eat you know um whole unprocessed foods by bought in bulk you know can um can last you know can stretch your food dollar so there's all kinds of things you can be doing right now and um you know i'm just definitely an optimist i'm you know frustrated of course like anybody else would be but i'm not panicked and um i just believe that things always work out and if you look for the opportunities right now if they're not here right now they're going to be here soon that you can transform your business or there's business opportunities which you can leverage to put yourself in a better position for if this type of thing ever happens again. So be open to those things. Remember, you're a survivor. You're like a Rambo, okay? You're, you're gritty. You're tough. You're an undersized underdog. So act like it. Keep a smile. Don't let your gum show, though. See? Smile. Because you could be on candid camera. And if you don't know what that is, ask your mother Google. Bye-bye.